Welcome everybody to the Ultimate Sports Quiz hosted by me, Justin Morehouse, from my house and the people at the TM Group. So what's it all about? We want to raise some money for our wonderful NHS and have some fun doing it, competitive fun. Uh, we've got 16 new contestants taking part in an online 10 question sports quiz. Eight legends from the world of sport, eight legends from the business of sport. All very key, all very competitive to try and take the title. Winners of round one, moving to the quarters and so on, until we just have one remaining. Each quiz is available to see online and you can donate. This is the important thing. At justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash sports quiz. So who have we got today? Well, uh, playing today, uh, PR manager for Adidas, that sounds good, is Abigail Hallworth. Hello, Abigail. Good morning. How's the uh, PR going for Adidas at the minute? Yeah, it's good. It's good. We're a busy team, but we're all good. Yeah, are you uh, thinking about putting another stripe on there or are you just going to stick to the three? We thought about it for a good while, yeah. but after a lot of consideration, we're going to stick with the three. So it's good. That's a good idea, that. It's a good idea. Where you can't go with those things, because your yeah, house looks very nice. Is that some kind of upmarket New York apartment? Where are you? It's not. I'm in Bristol. Um, in Bristol. Yeah, best city in the world. All right. And are you locked down? Are you safe and well? Yeah, all good. Me and family are all good. So that's the good news. Good, good, good. Uh, playing against you today is uh, the, the king of PR. Uh, he is uh, one of the greatest footballers ever to pull on an England shirt. Manchester United legend, inventor of the Boogalee. It's Lee Sharp. Hello, Lee. <laughs> how are we doing? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, very well, thanks. I like how you picked your best wall to be in front of. That's not actually the best wall. I've got a better one downstairs, but I, I thought I'd save that just in case I get through to the second round. Are you staying safe and well, Lee? Yeah, trying our best. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what you what, what what's what's your daily plan like? Uh, my daily plan. Well, I've got a two-year-old and a three-year-old, so I'm generally uh, building dens, uh, playing hide and seek, uh, being just hiding from the kids. Rabbit, just kids entertainer available for bar mitzvahs, christening, <laughs> yeah. birthdays. Oh, mate. I, do you know what? One of the good things about um, this lockdown for me is that my kids have grown up. I mean, I could not imagine being in a room with a two-year-old and a three-year-old. Well done, mate. Keep keep strong. Stay strong. <laughs> in fact, on Thursday, I'll be clapping for you, mate, because you, yeah. you're a key worker. Right. Appreciate that. This is how it's going to work. Uh, we're going to toss a coin to see who goes first. Abigail, do you want to go heads or tails? Tails. It is tails. It yeah, is tails. Okay. It sounds not. like you said hails there, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, do you want to go first or second? Uh, second. All right. Please it's going to be uh, it's going to be like knockout, like penalty shootout. So one question each uh, time. Lee. Oh, easy one for you, mate. In what year did Mad Maradona score his famous hand of God goal? Oh, uh, that was. Uh, I should know that as well, shouldn't I? You should really, mate. Yeah, it's probably one of the most famous goals of all time, and you being a footballer and that. I know, but I don't really watch a lot of football, to be fair. I don't, <laughs> I'm terrible with what years what. They all blend into one. You know, because the football season's like wrapped around two years. It's, and not, uh, sometimes it ends with a, a World Cup. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the hand of God, uh, that was... Uh, is it supposed to be a quick fire round as well? It's not, is it? It's not now, is it? A... <laughs> I actually had this question in a quiz last night. I'm not joking, but I can't remember the answer. Okay, All right, I'm going to give you five I, seconds, okay. Lee. Uh, Maradona was... I'm going to go for... 1990. No, it was 86, mate. It was 86. 86. Oh. It was the game that knocked England out. 1990, they got knocked out in the semi-finals, very famously. Didn't score their league. Disappointed in you. Um, Abigail, yeah. in what country were the first modern Olympics held? Greece. 1 0 to Abigail. Lee, how many players make up an ice hockey team on the ice at once? How many ice hockey players are on the ice at once? Five. It's six, mate. Oh. Two year old and three year old are frazzling your brain. You got that Abigail, in <laughs> skiing, what's the proper name for the discipline of cross country racing? Oh. What do they call it? What kind of skiing? Cross country skiing. Um, What's the proper name though? Yeah. Uh, it's not, like I want to say alpine, but it's not. 
What? I don't know. I don't know. Nordic. 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 Oh. Got a chance to get back in early. At which WWE star <laughs> oh. Tyson Fury wrestled in 2019? No idea. John Cena. <laughs> it was Braun Strowman. Never. Never, never well. None for three so far, I believe. Um, Abigail, what was Usain Bolt's 100 meter record time? 9.57 seconds, 9.58, or 9.59? 9.58 is the correct answer. It's 2 0, oh. Lee. You need this. Killing Lee, you need this. Killing Lee. me. I'm you sorry. Could be I'm sorry. Going out here. <laughs> not going competitive or anything. No. Well, uh, what I'm is the not name? at all. Never what is the name of the course where golf's masters is held? Augusta. You got it in there, mate. Snatched it back. Got one back. Okay, Abigail. <laughs> Until 2004, <laughs> what was the highest score that can be awarded in figure skating? That's so niche. Um, oh, it's, it's ice, not niche. <laughs> uh, ten. Oh, it's six. Oh, no. Everyone knows that. I knew that. I ice skated. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Lee. <laughs> in which, in 1981, oh. which sporting event did Sue Brown become the first female competitor in? 1981. Yeah. Sue Brown, first competitor. Yeah. 1981. He's saying it over and over again, so someone in the room can Google it for him. Someone in the room. Uh, <laughs> 1981. I'm going to give you a clue because it's quite hard, this one. Super. It's an annual event held in London. Uh, Super 1981. What? She'd become the first female competitor in a sport. Yeah. In, in an event. No idea. Uh, Here's answer. Snooker. No, it's the boat race, mate. No the idea. boat race, which means, Abigail, unassailable lead. You've won 2-1. Oh. your final question anyway. Yeah, I love it. Go which it. was the first country in Asia to host a Formula One race? Tokyo. Well, it's Japan, so I'm going to give you that. 3-1, comprehensive in the end. <laughs> Lee, not so sharp today, mate. I have to say, disappointing, to say the least. I know, it's always a little thing. When, when you see your heroes crumble in front of you. <laughs> it's like seeing Superman in that bar. Leather, <laughs> drunk. Just seeing you fail, mate. <laughs> Pay money to watch you play football and now just realise that you're thick. It's just it's terrible. Starting Thanks, bad, got worse. Thanks very much, mate. Thanks, Abigail. You're through to the next you. round. Well played, Abigail. Don't forget, Thanks. don't forget to join us again. I'm going to give out the uh, thing so people can know to go to justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash sports quiz uh, to try and uh, give us some money to help those uh, hardworking NHS staff. You've been brilliant. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks Bye. Very much, yeah. Good luck Bye. next round, Abigail. See you later. Thanks.